gonna grab the fire arm, okay? Why? Just because I have to run it. I did not give you okay. consent to enter my vehicle. Okay. Put it back where it's supposed to go. Yeah. There's no reason for all this. I don't like this guy at all, bro. Get Open it. the door. Right, I'm gonna let you. Okay. I don't want to talk to him anymore. I'm gonna let you to reach and get it. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. In today's story, Tim was in Maryland, a state where if you have a concealed carry permit, you are not required to inform the officer or even let him know that you are armed. Tim possesses a concealed carry permit. However, his weapon was seated in the center console and in plain view when Maryland State Trooper Smalls pulled over Tim for his vehicle's tint. How can I help you? You might roll your window all the way down for me. All right, I'm Chief Small with the Maryland State Police. Uh, my ID number 7676. Just let you know everything's been off the visual record, okay? Okay. Just know I see your firearm. Just don't reach for the firearm, okay? Got your driver's license registration card. The reason I stopped you is for the tent on the windshield, okay? Okay. Can't have any tent on the windshield past that AS1 line on five inches down, whichever one comes first. You got a Maryland uh, carry permit? Yes, sir. An officer can conduct visual searches of what is in plain view, and if a weapon is seen, the courts have held that law enforcement officers can take reasonable actions to ensure their safety while conducting an investigation. This extends to securing a firearm or other weapon from a vehicle while issuing a traffic citation. However, Trooper Smalls now opens the vehicle to seize the weapon, but not for his safety, instead to run the serial number. If you mind, I'm just gonna open the door for a second, okay? What? I'm just gonna open the door. I'm gonna grab the firearm, okay? Why? Just cause I have to run it just to make sure, okay? You have any other firearms in the vehicle that I need to know about? No, but that's, you know it's a violation, right? Say it again? You coming in my vehicle is a violation, you know that, right? I'm just letting you know I'm running the serial number on the, on the firearm, what okay? For, what, what for? Just to make sure it, it aligns with the, the permit, okay? Is that and what? make sure it's a register to you. Okay. And, and you think that's legal and lawful? Yes, sir. Are you the you registered owner of the firearm? I am. Okay. Right. That's why. And I have the ID and it. Right. But if I don't know the serial number on the firearm, then I can't say that this is the firearm that you're carrying. Trooper Smalls is obviously new or has been taught that he can arbitrarily run the serial numbers of someone's firearm just because it exists. However, if a gun is not germane to an investigation, the officer has no right to run the serial number, as is the case here, and doing so would amount to an unlawful search and seizure and an unnecessary extension of the traffic stop. Fortunately, it appears the trooper second guesses his mistake and tries to self-correct. You pulled me over for a tent. That has nothing to do with this. You're going outside of the scope of the pullover. You pulled me over for a tent. Say it again? You're going outside of the scope for what you pulled me over. You pulled me over for tent, right, and you write me a ticket for tent. Correct. I showed you that I'm legally and lawfully able to do that. You opened my door, which is already a violation. Well, I thought that the door automatically opened when I reached for it. I thought that you pushed something inside the door. I did not. I did not give you okay. con consent to enter my vehicle. Okay, my, my apologies. I thought that when the, the no. doorknob opened, no. that you opened it up for me. That, that's incorrect. It. Okay. It, that's a violation, I'm I telling you. You. You, know, you know what I'm saying? You're okay. not supposed to come in my vehicle. That's, All right. Fourth Are you Amendment. okay with me running your serial number? You, you have no reason to do that. You okay. pulled me over no for problem. tent, sir. So I'm going to put the firearm back. Are you okay with me? Yes. Open your door. Now you can and, and put it back where it's supposed to go. There's no reason for all this. With Trooper Smalls returning the firearm to its original location, it would be nearly impossible to argue that its seizure was for officer safety. Unfortunately for Tim, however, this wouldn't be the end of the issue. All right, you, uh, what, what type of firearm is that? That's a Glock. It's a Glock. What what, what model is it? <laughs> what is going on? I I, I understand that I, this is a violation. Please write me a ticket okay. for the tent. This is all outside the scope of anything to do with this. Well, I don't, uh, just because because I did right see the firearm, okay? Correct. I, I can run the firearm just to see and make sure it is a registered firearm. Very basic reasoning would deduce that this statement is false. It would be akin to noticing a person lawfully carrying a firearm in public. If the firearm is not involved in or related to criminal activity, a trooper could not simply walk up to the person and demand the serial number just to check it. I did right. see the firearm, okay? Correct. I can run the firearm just to see and make sure it is a registered firearm. 
And that's what you're saying? Yes. That, that That's legally and lawfully what yes. you're able to do? You're not working outside the color of law? No. Okay. Be, because it is visible, it's not like you're concealing the firearm? Uh, so the, the firearm is visible, okay? Correct. Do you understand the... It's a concealed and open carry. It's both. Okay. It's a CCW, but it's also it's a it's a firearm permit. I can have that in Maryland. Okay. I can I can I can holster it. Mm -hmm. It has a holster on it. I can holster it right. concealed or open. Right. It's both. I got you. All right. Just hang tight, me. I'll be right back with you. Okay. Okay. Um, the vehicle is a security company that you work for. Correct. Okay. No problem. All right. Just hang tight. Trooper Smalls returns to his cruiser to write the citation and calls for a second unit. Trooper Barlow responds shortly after and immediately dons his gloves and unnecessarily escalates the encounter. Alright, can you put that window down for me? Oh, it's down. Sir? Huh? It's down. I can hear you. Alright. How do you open this? Sir, I'm Trooper Barlow, the Maryland State Police, I'm my body camera's on. Uh -huh. Alright. The fact that you have a firearm in the car and cool. you're doing all of this, it puts us at unease, okay? So the only thing we want to do is just check the firearm registration, just make sure it's good to go, okay? That's all That's all it is, nothing else to it, all right? So if you mind opening up the door so I can get the firearm. There's no legal reason for you to touch my firearm. He already violated me. You got the permit and everything, right? but it still gives us grant to check the firearm, make sure it's still legit. Under okay? under what law? What's that? sorry? Under what law? So it gives us probable cause to check to make sure everything's good. Can you open up the door, sir? So you have probable- Can you open the door, sir? You have probable cause to sir, check my firearm. can you unlock the door? Do you, you realize I'm recording you, right? Can you unlock the door, sir? Do you hear me? I cannot hear you because the window's up and it's loud out here. I'm recording you. So am I. And you're violating, trying to violate my rights right it's now. You're violating rights, sir. Yes, you are. No, it's not. You have no reason to touch a firearm. He pulled me over for window tent. Okay. From behind me, first okay. off. So you he got is, windows all around, right? Exactly. So he said front windshield tent. You can still see, you can't see through it. All right. I so front windshield tent when I was on my previous stop. And so okay, so you pull me over for tent, then you write me a ticket for the tent. You have no, this stop has nothing to do with a firearm. You can't turn this into something is not. You're extending the stop. The, the stop is and not you're, extending. Okay, you have it, a firearm it, it will be. And we have grounds to verify that it is a registered firearm. I'll, 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 do, I'll hand you the firearm under duress and under threat of arrest, and I'll, your qualified immunity is is, is going to be stripped. Just realize that. You guys are doing this under the color of law, and it's, Sir, it's not lawful. It's not, it's not, a, it's not it's lawful. It's not lawful. It's bigger thing than it needs to be. Okay? No, not, no, not. You're I'm, making it a bigger thing than it needs to be. Do you okay. understand? I own a security company, and I understand, okay, understand the, how the law works. Firearms are always out, not traced and not tracked, right? So that's what all we're trying to do is make sure everything. I, uh, first off, I have a Second Amendment right to own my firearm. Okay. I have a Maryland permit that's valid. You checked it. Okay, he you has have a it. Permit. That doesn't mean that that firearm is registered. So if you open up this door so I can verify that registration of that firearm, we could go ahead go about our business. I understand that. I understand so that. You open the door so I can verify I'm that not, firearm. I'm not. He already violated me once. Came sir, in my car without consent. Sir, sir. What? Just open the door. Under a threat of arrest. Open the door. Uh, under threat of arrest. Open the door. And I'm going to sue you in open court. You're going to be defending. What's your name and badge number? Open the door. Name and badge I'm number? I'm you all that when you open the door because I told you who I am when I walked up to you. Ah, uh, yes. Nothing says de-escalation like using 24 syllables to refuse to identify yourself as a law enforcement officer instead of uttering the four syllables it takes to state it. I uh, was well, probably on the recording. Barlow? You're recording. Play it back. Open up the door. Okay. You guys are extending this stop. Open up the door, sir. You're extending this stop. Open the door. You're extending the stop. Okay, because you're reaching right now, and, I, and we know there's a firearm in the car, so do not make this thing I, worse. I don't like this guy at all, bro. All right. Yeah, I'm going to let you reach and get Open it. the door. Yeah, just roll down the window. Right, I'm going to let you. Okay. I don't want to talk to him anymore. Just roll down the window. Okay. I'm going to let you to reach and Open get it. Open the door. Just... Right, you. It's right there. You can reach and get it. No, I'm saying, go, grab it. Well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cross over the top of you. If you want to step outside, I can get the firearm that way. Okay. If you want to do that, okay? Bro, stop! Open the door up. That's Open a, the door. This is illegal. Open the door. This is illegal. Get out. Cause you're doing more than it needs to be. Get this, out of the car. This is illegal. Stop. Get out of the car. An illegal search and seizure of my property. Illegal search and seizure. All you can do is grab the firearm and then close my door. That's all I want is the firearm. 
See, make it harder than it needs to be. It's, do you understand this is illegal? So far, neither officer has raised a concern of safety, and now both officers have their backs turned to Tim while they hold him against his will on the edge of a busy thoroughfare, jeopardizing the safety of all three individuals and every driver on the road. I'm gonna sue you. You should have stopped him. You were part of this lawsuit. You're gonna be named defendant and so will he. Oh, it's the uh, Palace Park. Ridiculous, bro. And I recorded you beating on my window, too. I'm out with L9. You got a fire on serial number. This is ridiculous, bro. A black man can't legally and lawfully own, uh, own, own a gun in Maryland? I hate this dude to our people, too. It's always our own people, dude. I'm gonna attach myself to your pension. For no reason. You violated my rights. Fourth Amendment violation. Don't make no sense. Oh, over window tent. Well ridiculous. Where are y'all based out of? Where's your headquarters? Trooper Smalls finally returns to his cruiser to write and print the citation. He returns a couple moments later. Y'all gonna get sued to flex. So right here, this is a repair order for the tent, okay? Yeah. Um, you have 30 days to get this taken care of. Um, the company have 30 days because you're on a bus driving vehicle. I don't know if it's your company or not. But that 30 days to get that taken care of. Once you get it taken care of, it'll be uh, off the system. If you don't get done within 30, 30 days, that's suspended registration on the vehicle. Okay, this is a brochure by the Maryland State Police Department. It's out of the driveway registration card. So, a little bit of advice. If you're going to have a carry permit and you got a firearm with you, at least have one in the chamber so you're ready to use it, okay? Having it in, that, in the chamber delays the reaction for you to be able to use it, okay? I, I know how to use it. Right. There you go. There you go. Enjoy the rest of your day. Mm -hmm. Let's start making it easy. You're gonna get a lawsuit, bro. All right. Defend it. These, they just want to get sued. They want to get sued. They enjoy getting sued. L9. In the end, Tim was cited for his windshield tint, and it's possible that he fights the citation. He is currently attempting to retrieve the body cam footage, and has filed a complaint with the department. Through my conversations with him, he states that he intends to sue. However, it is extremely difficult to find a lawyer that would take a case like this unless you have a ton of money to put up front. That's because cases like this are often dismissed, as it is hard to prove damages, even when a civil rights violation is blatantly obvious. And so, the officers will walk, the departments will investigate themselves and find no wrongdoing, and no court opinion will be published to shore up the citizens' rights. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Should a law enforcement officer have the authority to seize and search your weapon for absolutely no other reason than it existing? If so, what other items should they be allowed to seize? Thanks for watching. If you like this publication, check out one of my other videos linked on screen. So I'm going to put the firearm back.